Hey guys, Nick Palmashano here. I've been asked by Blue Star Families and the Independence Fund to tell veterans to get the vaccine. I'm not gonna do that because I just frankly don't believe in telling people what to do. Um, what I will do is kind of talk about it a little bit. So one, I completely understand being hesitant to get the vaccine. After all, this is the same government that gave us the anthrax vaccine that pretends burn pits isn't a thing, that ignored Agent Orange for years with the previous generation. They don't have a high level of trust in general terms with the military, right? We tend to be the guinea pigs. So like I 100% understand why as an active duty military person or as a veteran, you would say, screw this, I'm not interested. Um, that being said, in places where people are getting the vaccine in a significant manner, the disease is basically dying. Um, when you think about the threats of the vaccine, and again, I start this by saying, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a PhD, I'm not gonna pretend that I have some vast knowledge that, that other people don't but I have read a whole lot about this and I've spoken to doctors that are experts in this arena. The process was very fast, but steps were not skipped. So what they did was they ran some steps concurrently and also all of the businesses began production before approval. So if it hadn't been approved, then they would have had to scrap that production. Essentially, they had multiple things running at once so that all of the safety steps could be put in place and the vaccine could still be executed. Why do I think this is important? Again, it's super hard for me to, to come out and say like, you've got to do something. At the end of the day, it's your body, you do whatever you want with it. But there are a lot of people that are immunocompromised, that have allergic reactions associated, you know, if you've, if you've had a bee sting and you're one of these people that like, goes into anaphylactic shock, you probably can't get this vaccine. There's a bunch of people like that that cannot be helped. And so they rely on herd immunity or they essentially can't live a normal life. They are going to constantly live in fear. And so for me, you know, it's very simple. Um, you know, I'm not afraid of the vaccine. It's not a thing that scares me. I, I trust the medicine. I realize that it's possible that there, there could be side effects, even though none have been really shown over time. Um, but I think it's important for me to get it so that I can protect the people that can't get it. I also think that it's important for the collective to get it so that we can go back to business as usual. Um, I appreciate places like Texas and Florida have already just said, you know, we're going into business as usual, but that isn't true for the rest of the country. You know, there are a whole lot of places that essentially aren't functioning, watching businesses suffer, watching people live in fear. Um, and this is an easy way through it. Consider getting the vaccine. It's not my place to tell you to do it. I'm just explaining to you why I did it and why I think it's a good idea. Side effects for me were a sore arm. Um, that was consistent with my family. You know, my entire family has, has now received it. The worst that's happened to anybody is a sore arm and a headache. Uh, the best that's happened to people is literally nothing. Like they got the shot, nothing happened. Um, and of course, you know, if you've been, you know, watching the, the, uh, the woke crowd, you know, over the last year, the one thing that I can guarantee you is that once you get the vaccine, you can tell everybody that you're better than them. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or am I?